This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday, as it says in the back there. Um, and I will be unboxing a wonderful present that I made for myself to myself. Okay, it's right here. I've been teasing it for um, a week or two already, and I know a lot of you already know what it is because I've been talking about this since six months already because when the fashion show hit six months ago i fell in love with this piece and i contacted my sales associate for the first time ever in my personal uh purchase history of chanel i uh, asked if i could pre-order something so when they were about to order the metier da uh the uh, chateau de dame collection for their boutiques which was six months ago they inserted also an order for me it was amazing. It worked out really well because I thought, well, what happens if they don't get enough orders in worldwide? Would would Chanel, um, would they just drop the piece? Would the piece just not be produced at all? And they said to me, well, usually with pre-orders, um, if, if it comes directly from a customer, usually, not always, but usually they respect the pre-order and they're going to produce it even if they're at a loss interesting to know um so you have seen me unbox uh in the past days following up to my birthday these two beauties here uh, the black camellia and the uh, Tyrian pink camellia so all information on these two chanel beautiful heritage pieces uh, are in the videos i will link them up here but also the link will be in the description box down below there's a lot of history connected to these so i know they look like just you maybe don't even see the black one because it's so elegantly hidden within the black uh outfit that i have and this there's a story behind them and actually this one for my birthday is a is a double camellia there's a little baby growing right on top there so it's kind of the symbology of birth and it is coco's favorite pink the Tyrian pink so, information on these beauties uh, in the description box down below, card section up above. Before we unbox this, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob, all spelled together to gain access to extra perks there as well. A lot of videos that don't ever come to YouTube, they stay exclusive to my tier two members and patrons. So there's a lot uh, to gain there as well. Thank you to all my uh, patrons and members who have already pledged. You guys are the best. And also thank you to my co-chatters who are now live with me in the chats on the sidebar of my video. I am filming this video live. I do live stream every Saturday. However, this particular video is an exception. I've been, I filmed this one on a Wednesday. Because that's not my birthday, my birthday, my birthday. <laughs> but join me every Saturday live if you wish to partake in the chats and uh, all of the videos that I record every Saturday. So, you guys, and thumb up this video while you're at it. Huh, will ya? What's a ghost ya? Always these thumbs. Because people watch the videos, but they don't think about thumbing up because you're so in it in the moment. Um, let me pull the ribbon off. Hold on. So they gave me the recyclable or recycled paper bag. These bags fall apart. Like they're recyclable to a point where they start degrading already when, when you go out of the boutique. They're already full of dents. They, they soften up to the feel. Like this is not... They ain't gonna age well. And they are produced in China. Just like the Chanel workers' uh, uniforms in the boutiques. So Chanel does have a manufacturing in China, huh? The shade. But they get a lot of tissue paper. Okay, now I put this double protected. Okay, here we go. You got it. Oh, there it is. Let me just put a shopping bag. Uh, yeah, I bought a Chanel pillow. No. Uh, for those of you who know Chanel, you know, um, usually knitwear or T-shirts, when you purchase them, they come in these pouches. 
they pack them up for you in these pouches. They have holes, they're perforated so the textile can breathe. So this is how they packaged this little piece. Aha uh ha. -huh. Um, it's a dream come true. I really fell in love with it when I saw it. So this is what it is. You might think, what the hell did he get? Looks like a pillow, looks like a little llama. What is it? It is uh, the wool slash alpaca, cashmere, mohair, and a little bit of metal and plastic fibers there as well. Vest. In a size 50, which was only produced for me because no other Chanel boutique ordered it that big. So Chanel made it for me. So I guess I'm the only one. I don't know. You tell me if you're in your boutique that had a 50. Um, size 50. It's the biggest one in existence. Um, check out the close-up detail. Yes, and it does come with a button. In the fashion show, they still did not have the buttons ready. So it comes with this little chain button. It's gorgeous, the texture of this thing. So I'm not dressed for this vest right now. I'm going to put it on anyway um, to show you. I have the camellias. It, it just doesn't work. But don't you fret none. That's an old word. Don't you fret none. Because I have prepared for you. Hold on. I did a little photo shoot, you guys, with the vest properly to show you how it looks like. So I'm going to show you how it looks like full body because here I don't have the space with the hanging happy birthday and all. Um, I don't have the space because I know all of you always ask like, Jacob, show us a full mod shot, how it looks on you. Um, I will. I actually prepared the photo. I will blend it in in just a second. But this is, it is what it is, you guys. I, I don't want to ruin my camellias, but... Okay, the vibes this is giving me. Um, medieval. It's like a Renaissance medieval blend. It's very, it's like a lady in a cottage in the middle of the forest made this out of really thick wool. It's very short. It's very rudimental, very wide. It has a very, very... Um, raw feel to it it feels like you've, you 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 just pulled the you know <laughs> the, the hair off a sheep the wool and you made this in your cottage somewhere in the middle of nowhere but with chanel colors and and this warm terracotta vibe is to die for now listen the th how they worked this material this is not just wool it is also tweed uh woven into here uh, it is threads of a myriad of colors. Um, definitely go to my Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together Instagram profile, where I will be posting macro zoomed close-ups of this fabric. It is to die for. To die for. The amount of life hidden in the texture of this thing, it's amazing. So anyway, I mean, it actually kind of looks good like this too, doesn't it? It's so Renaissance though. Ah. So anyway, I mean it's huge. Check it out. And it's it's very loving it. It you know, giving me also a bit of Game of Thrones vibes here. But let me Jacob went out for you. I've created the mood board for this piece and I styled it very casual chic for summer when it's a bit breezy in the evenings. I've styled it with Yoji Yamamoto, my favorite designer, together with Chanel. So I have Y3 on uh, in the photos you're going to see. I have the Rick Owens Mastodon sneakers. Uh, I have shorts on with this. And the way I style it is this should not be styled like, like you're going to a fancy event. This thing is meant to live. And that's the beauty. That's what Coco Chanel, she made her outfits to live with them every day. And since I'm a person that overheats, but I love knitwear, whenever Chanel makes vests that don't have sleeves, I'm all for it. And it's very rare that they do that. But when they do do that in the shapes that I like, like this, then um, I, um... oh, let me show you. Wait, what is this? Oh, look, there's also like a little bit of like gold. La May. There's a lot of bits of everything here. Let me just show you the, the button before I show you the photos. So the button, it's a, it's a chain button. 
So it is attached to this side. You can't take this off. Uh, but uh, on the other side, there is a hole for the button that they have sewn and prepared properly. And the button is the classic uh, Métier da uh, Château de Dames design with the chessboard with all the little ambery color uh, stones in there in the chessboard. Uh, this one is handmade, so it's attached to this chain, and on the other side you have the same button again with the chessboard and all the uh, amber colored stones. And I mean, look at the close-up of this. You guys, check out this texture. It's insane. Insane. And look at this woven bit here at the top that, that follows. This is a classic Chanel uh, pattern that she would put on, on the border of all of her jackets. She had this one lady outside of Paris uh, that passed away a couple of years ago, but she was still alive after Chanel's passing, that did all of this for Coco. She did all of her little bordure, um, all of these trims at the edges, at the hems of, um, of every piece. And so this is heritage of Chanel. And this particular game that they play, it's a pattern that they weave and that they create for this piece in particular, which is what makes Métier Da almost haute couture because it puts it in that level where a specific pattern was developed only for the piece. And, and it's particularly noticeable with their knitwear. When they do the knitwear, they do the knitwear. Like it's insane, insane. You just want to look at it. You just want to keep looking at it. I mean, there's the back. Let me, let me zoom it in again. So you see the texture. Look at the amount of details running, all the different types of threads that were utilized, all the different shades of red, all the different shades of terracotta, of white, of black, of little tiny thread of gold lame. I mean, insane so um let me now move to the side here and let me blend in the photo shoot <laughs> okay so here i am in a dystopian world you see the bricks in the back they're the same color as the i i you listen you guys <laughs> i found a location okay <laughs> I found a location. So this is, it's your boy, Jacob. Uh, this is how I style it. I have my 255 clutch. I have my Y3 shorts, black t-shirt, my Mastodon, chunky black sneakers, and the vest. That's, you know, this is the look for me. Like this is, this is, this is, this is, that's, this is it. This is what I live for. So let me show you the next photo. Uh, more easy, more chill going, also very dystopian, emptiness. It's, it's a modern, it's, it's medieval for 2021, I want to say. It's very much the vibe uh, that I'm feeling, the, the life that I'm living right now. This is me in a nutshell. And look at this vest. It just, this is where it's at, okay? Um... Let me show you the the close-up, the third shot. So here you see me a little bit in action or moving a little bit uh, more so that you get a, a feeling for it. Um, it's There's a roundness to it. It's very organic, how it flows on the body. It doesn't fall straight. It curves itself in because of the border that has been knitted. So it tightens itself always in. So it keeps evolving as you're moving. Um, it has its moments where it tightens up and then it has moments where it loosens up more. In this case, the buttons were also, you see the button is closed. It's, it's such a, it's so simple. You know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, th that's what just has me loving it to, to bits. Is, is it simplicity? how complex it is when you look close at it, but how humble and modest it kind of looks from a distance. It doesn't scream at you from a distance. From a distance, it's actually very, almost nomadic in a way. It's like you're living your isolated life at, on the peak of a mountain somewhere. Um, 
while you're wearing a Chanel vest. But that's that's exactly the mood. That's the vibe. My isolation, my type of lifestyle, my way of even like not going to the hairstylist since over a year uh, because of the lockdown, my isolation is so much represented by this piece. I can't tell you how much I love this piece. It's just so much so that I pre-ordered it without like thinking twice. I saw the fashion show, I immediately contacted my sales associate and said, hey, this was six months ago. Can you please maybe consider ordering this for me in the biggest size possible? She said, hold on, let me check. She said, yeah, we can do it. They did it. It arrived six months later. She told me, geez, nobody wanted this vest. It's the only size 50 made that she knows of. Uh, and I was super happy and thankful that they did this for me. Um, so there you have it, guys. Uh, more photos of this particular fashion shoot. I will be posting them to my Coco Chanel is in my house. Uh, Instagram profile all spelled together. So go follow me there and stay tuned for more photos coming out i will be posting the photos after i post this video obviously so once you're watching this video the photos will be up there as well so you can get to see more mod shots of it um and also more outfits that i'm going to use it for obviously i'm not going to wear it just styled that way that's just the mood i was in yesterday when i styled it because i felt it felt right for me then and that was how hot it was outside as well uh so there you have it, guys. Let me uh, get to some of your chats. I hope you've li uh, liked this unboxing. Thumb up this video if you've liked it thus far. And I hope you're not those people that kind of just escape after you see what's being pulled out of the bag. And then you're like, okay, done. I've seen what's in the bag. Let me go. Because, you know, I share with you a lot of information after I actually pull the rabbit out of the hat. Um, <clears throat> uh, I am Lady G says, uh, off a distance, the vest looks like it has small jewels in it. Yeah, it's the, it's the gold shimmer that... that, that uh, it's the gold threading that they used. Uh, Jason says, I remember that from the video, how you loved that piece. Yeah, I loved it from the second I saw it on the runway. Of course, you see, it's brand new. So it does kind of leave a little bit of uh, wool, especially if you're wearing it on black. It does leave a little bit of wool left over <laughs> on the black garments. Nam Chow says, love this vest. Thank you so much. Stephanie says, the vest looks so good on you. Thank you, Stephanie. Linz Revy says, it makes me so happy to see... Uh, how much you love this piece and how you style it for your vibe. Thank you, Lynn's Review. Yeah, it feels me. It really feels like me. Mm, it feels really comfortable to wear it. So it doesn't feel like I'm dressing up for something. It doesn't feel like, oh, okay, now I got to worry because I'm going to wear Chanel now. So no, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like a really comfortable piece that reflects your character completely. And it doesn't scream Chanel. And it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable because you think that you have to behave differently because you are wearing Chanel. No, this is just a very comfortable piece that reflects a mood perfectly. And that's why it's so sp special to me because it has that humble aesthetic to it. Um, Audrey Jane says, I'm so happy you managed to get this beautiful piece. Thank you, Audrey. Pauline says, the vest goes really well with that black you are wearing. Thank you. Looks very comfy, says Jack. It's super comfortable. Looks like microscopic rosebuds knit together, says Mr. Philip Fabulous. Um, Amira says, you need to visit Idaho in winter. We have a winter festival with ice sculptors contests. You can wear it here. Oh, that sounds so fun. Jesus says, skinny legend. Ah, I wish. Uh, Tucci says, impeccable. Thank you so much, Tucci. Jason says, oh my God, that shot is stunning. Thank you, Jason. You know, I had to deliver a moment because, I mean, this is such a special piece. Waited six months for it. I know you guys always ask for mod shots and there's no space in here for me to like have a full body shot for you guys. So I thought I'm going to do the extra effort and go out and really shoot it for you. Jack says, Hunger Games, but sponsored by Chanel and Y3. We love it. Jesus says, it's giving Dazed Magazine, Mama. Yas. Mr. Philip Fabulous says, teach the kids, Deco. Thank you. Immaculate Fit says, IRL, URL. Serving looks, says Shauna. Maggie says, wow. Xander says, ooh. Jason says, serve a magazine moment shot. Uh, Jerry says, what's the type of fabric called? This is knit. It is knitwear. And it is a mixed fabric. So we have wool, alpaca wool. We have sheep wool, alpaca wool. There's a bit of mohair. There's a bit of cashmere. There's a bit of metal. Uh, there's a bit of acrylic as well. Because a lot of these threads are also gold lame. So, um... It's mixed fiber for a very thick knit. 
And we're talking really thick. This is the thickest knit I've had in decades. And it's just so delicious. It's also serving some 80s vibes. There's a lot of Vivian Westwood vibes going on here as well. Very, very Westwood-esque. This is one of Westwood's favorite colors. She loves terracotta and warm hues. So this is something that Vivian could have done as well. Vivian loves knitwear. Vivian Westwood adores knitwear. And she specialized in knitwear. She designs all the knitwear pieces herself for her own collection, not other designers. But just, just a little information about uh, Vivian Westwood. Jack says, that outfit you put together is fantastic. Thank you so much, Jack. I'm Lady G says, I love the cinnamon red cream orange tones in the jacket. It's, it's delicious, it's delicious. Um, MK says, love, love, love the buttons mechanism with the chain. It actually reminds me of traditional Austrian jackets and vests which also have the same sort of buttons mechanism, which is also something that Vivian Westwood, and in particular her husband, uh, Andreas Kronthaler, loved to do. He's very inspired by Austrian um, and, and uh, South Tyrol uh, traditional um, outfits. So Westwood implements it a lot as well. Ghosted says, it looks like a bed of, rose, of roses close up. It, it is just that beautiful. Thank you guys so much for your comments, for unboxing together with me, for spending the time on my birthday together with me. It means the world to me. Um, this little vest thanks you as well. It took it six months to get to me, but it made it and it feels divine to actually not take part of the FOMO of this kind of, oh my God, the new collection is hitting stores. Um, let me see what I can grab or this FOMO of like let's poker and wait if something is still available for sale when sales hit it's Chanel stuff goes on sale one year later not six months later and they never order big size almost never order these big sizes anyway so for me so for me I actually am thank God not affected by this FOMO I just don't care anymore I'm like if I really fall in love with and it happens rarely that I fall in love with something this much when I do, I see it on the runway. I'm going to contact Mrs. Sosa and be like, hey, how much is this going to cost? Can you order it for me? Uh-huh. Because she did tell me the price six months ago. I already knew. It wasn't a surprise. And then you, this is great because I'm like, I don't want to have that rushing. Am I going to be invited to the pre-sales or not? That whole shebang, that whole shtick that just kills it for you. No, instead, you know how much it's going to cost. She tells you already the price. You got six months time to either budget for it or you have the money and then you don't care but it's not just it falls out of the blue you got six months time to plan it and if you really love a piece that much i think this is the best way to go they're going to pre-order it for you and then you have no more struggles no more waiting anticipation is it going to be there's it not going to be there somebody else going to buy it it's made for you it waits for you you're there you're the first one to touch it when you come to the booth i mean it's amazing it's a great feeling for me it's the way to go i've discovered the pre-orders at chanel there's no turning back for me. It's the most hassle-free thing that you can do. You order the piece you want, and the best of it all, which is not who I am, but the best of it all is you're not obliged to buy it. Once it arrives six months later and you don't like it or there's something wrong with it, you can always say, oh, okay, no, this doesn't fit me. You're not obliged to, of course, if you keep pre-ordering shit and they keep ordering it for you and you keep not buying it, well, at one point they're gonna stop doing it because it's they're losing money too, obviously, but, you don't have that pressure. Uh, and to me, that's the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumb up this video. Subscribe to my channel here. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Super Deco, all spelled together. But also my two Chanel uh, Instagrams. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together. And the other one is called Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together. The first one is dedicated to my Chanel collection. The second channel or uh, Instagram profile is dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Oh yeah, by the way, these were the first two birthday presents I got myself. These did make it to sale, so I was lucky enough to get these on sale. And they kind of faded into this beauty here. All right, till next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all, see you soon, take care, bye. Mwah.